Hello everyone. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this origami butterfly. This is a really cool origami butterfly. In fact, once you have this down, you'll be able to knock these out in 20 seconds. They're really quick and easy to make. I'm also, in this same video, going to show you a little modification where you can make this moth. This will be the slow tutorial, so I'm going to take my time and make sure that it is easy for you to follow along with. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a square sheet of paper. This one is 6 inch by 6 inch, but you can start off with a much smaller paper. In fact, that might even be easier to work with. These do work well with post-its, if you have post-its. All right, what we need to do is we're going to fold this in half, catty corner. So I'm going to go corner to corner, and then I will crease that down. Then we're going to open this, rotate 90 degrees, and go corner to corner again. We'll crease that down. We're going to open this up, and we should have this X pattern going from corner to corner. Right now, you'll notice the creases go in. Those are valley folds. We're going to flip the paper over so that those creases are mountain folds. Then we're going to fold this paper in half, but the difference is we're going to fold it on its sides. So pull that down and give that a crease. We're going to open it rotate 90 degrees and then we're going to fold it in half again. And crease that down. Now we're going to open this and now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of push down on the center on the bottom side so that our mountain folds going corner to corner now pop up. What we're going to do is we're going to pinch this and close it in. So you see how it folds into a triangle. I'm going to go ahead and just reinforce that crease. What we're going to do is we're going to lift this top flap. Starting from this crease point here in the center, we're going to go up and then we're going to go just off this top. So we're going to start there, and we're going to go off like that. There's no set amount. This is actually going to be the lower part of the wing we're setting. And you just want to be off a little bit. It's going to spread as we fold this. And we're going to do the same to the other side. And all we want to do at the other side is we want to make sure that we're off about the same. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this flap here, this lower part of the triangle. We're going to go under and around to the top. So if you see we're pulling it, it's going to kind of pull the paper. See how it separates everything? So we're going to go till it just starts to pull a little bit. Then we're going to fold it over and give that a pinch. Now we're going to pinch this. We're going to fold the butterfly in half like this. And then underneath what we're going to do is we're going to put our fingers in here and then we're going to separate this. Just like that. You want to hold this tip here as you do this, but you'll be able to separate this into this butterfly. And then you can shape the wings as you wish. And that is your origami butterfly. That variation I told you about. So I have another one here. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab that lower corner. We're going to fold it up. And we'll give that a pinch down. But the difference is, instead of folding the butterfly up, we're going to fold it down. So holding that, we're going to pinch this down, and then we're going to grab these loops and give that a pinch. And see, it gives it a very different look. It's one tweak different. So instead of folding it up, you fold it down, 
and then instead of getting a butterfly, you'll get this moth. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please click on the like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.